Hi everyone, my name is Tiffany if we've never met before and today I want to share one of my tactics for prioritizing the books that are on my never ending TBR. <laughs> I like to read an author's about me page because it gets me a little hyped to like pick up their book. This is a tactic that I use outside of my mood because I am a moody reader and outside of like being influenced when someone is gushing about a book or posting about it because that happens a lot. And I like to know how an author describes themselves and their work. If they make me laugh, if they give me a little personal tidbit or I get a better understanding as to what I should expect, especially if it's a new to me author, I prioritize it. So I have 10 books that I potentially want to bump up to what I call the queue. And part of the game is to only pick the books that have the best about me page, in my opinion, because I'm already going to get to all of these books anyway. All of these authors have my eyeballs and my money. This is just a fun way for me to, you know, get to those sooner. So let's get into it. Let's build this TBR together. I usually bump a book up right away if I feel like it's giving. And if it isn't, I don't. And sometimes I need a second pass, okay? Because there needs to be a way to make what comes out of the game manageable with all that I'm already reading. I will be sure to like screen record or at least screenshot so that you can follow me. I usually get these off of Amazon or Goodreads. Sometimes Goodreads doesn't have them. So we're going to start with the sure thing. And the first book I have is Dark Rain by Amelia Wilde. I love an Indisa proposal. Okay, carte blanche, all access pass. It's an instant click for me. And this one is supposed to be about a billionaire recluse and art lover who now wants to add the heroine who happens to be an artist to his collection. I love to see it. So I'm hoping we can bump this up. Let's go to this about me page. We're gonna do Amazon. I'm gonna screen shoot it so you can see. Amelia Wilde is a USA Today best-selling author of steamy contemporary romance and loves it a little too much. She lives in Michigan with her husband and daughters. She spends most of her time typing furiously on an iPad, okay, and appreciating the natural splendor of her home state from where she likes it best, inside. <laughs> I love that she said, I am an indoor cat, okay? Amelia is a USA Today bestselling author from North Michigan. Be her friend. Oh, that's cute. First impressions. This is short, sweet, and succinct, but it's not screaming bump up my book. So I got to be cutthroat. We're just starting the game. Let's move on to the next. Okay. I have His Cocky Prince by Cole McCade. I read the first two in this series and I don't even know how I haven't picked this up because I love the age gaps, the social class mashups, and the dom sub pairings in this series. They are all MM. This is supposed to be a grumpy sunshine, I think, set in Hollywood in an age gap. So let's check out Cole's bio. We're gonna go with Goodreads this time to switch it up. They don't always have them, but let's just see. Let me screen record so you can see what I'm doing. We're here. Okay, so his cocky valet, but not his cocky valet. Okay. Cole McCain, slender, angry part Asian. Yeah, that about sums me up. Hi, I'm Cole Zen, whatever you want to call me. Both are true and both are lies. My pen names are multitudes. My nickname's Elysian, tall by queer introverted author of a brownish persuasion made up of various flavors of black, Asian, and Native American. I'm cuter than Hello Kitty. <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Wait. Wait. I'm sorry. Ooh. Okay. 
am cuter than Hello Kitty, more bitter than the blackest coffee, and able to trip over cats in a single half asleep lurch. I'm what happens when a broody anti-hero and a manic pixie dream boy fight to the death and someone builds a person from the scraps left behind. <laughs> Beardless, I look like the ook in every, I don't know how to pronounce that, yao manga in existence. Bearded or not, I sound like Barry White. About half the time is spent as a corporate writer and the other half riding a train of what the fuckery that sometimes results in a finished book. I've read enough. <laughs> if I want to continue with this video, I can't with Cole. I'm bumping it up, okay? I'm bumping it up. His cocky prince is going on the TBR. Oh my gosh. <sighs> mm. Excuse me. Next, I have Her Ladyship's Companion by Evelyn Collins. I got this rec from Jen from the Book Refuge. I was looking for like a hero of the night in a historical type situation. In this one, the heroine is in a loveless marriage and she falls for the man that she acquires services from. So love to see it. Really hope that this bio is giving because I want to get to this one. Let's go. We're going to do Amazon. Okay, let me give you a little screenshot. Evelyn Collins is an award-winning author of sensual historical romance, an avid reader. Oh, yeah, an avid reader. It wasn't until she exhausted her local library supply of historical romance novels that she decided to try her hand at writing her own. Much to her delight, she discovered a new passion, and she has been hard at work crafting her romances ever since. Her titles include Her Ladyship's Companion and Seven Nights to Forever, which was an RT Book Review's Reviewer's Choice Best Book winner for Most Innovative Historical Romance. So I like this. Create what you want to see in the world. I'm bumping it up. Okay, I'm bumping it up. I'm very excited to get to Miss Evelyn Collins. Next, what do we have? I have Haunting Adeline by H.D. Carlton. I mean, this is a dark romance where the heroine falls in love with her stalker. Yeah, like, who am I kidding? I clicked on that. <laughs> so let's see if we can bump it up. Let's go to her bio. Let me get you a screenshot. Okay. H.D. Carlton grew up in a small town in Ohio. She suffers by the hands of Mother Nature, cursing the area with all four seasons in the span of a week. By day, she does boring adult stuff. By night, she's putting her imagination into words as her cat climbs all over her. She published a few poems back in her days, but now she's devoted to turning poetry into stories. Stories that feature wicked worlds and the worst kinds of villains that don't talk about themselves in the third person. I'm adding a few words there, but you know. Okay, hmm. Now that two books are in the queue, this is giving me second pass vibes, which means it will have to go head to head with any others that might pop up on this list, but we're definitely gonna circle back, okay? I'm intrigued. I like that she wrote poetry. Um, I'm intrigued, but we're gonna circle back. Okay, next I have mm -mm, The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. Yes, this intrigued me because this is about like a DNA based matchmaking company and the heroine gets matched with the grumpy founder. And so I was just intrigued, you know, like using science to find love. I was here for it. So hopefully this bio is giving because I've been meaning to get to this one for a minute. We're gonna go with Amazon. We can switch it up, but we want the sure thing. Okay, Christina, oh, screenshot. 
Mm -hmm. Christina Lauren is the combined pen name of longtime writing partners and best friends Christina Hobbs and Lauren Billings. I didn't know that. Okay, I'm going in as a neophyte. The New York Times, USA Today, and number one internationally best-selling authors of the Beautiful and Wild series, Dating You, Hating You, Autobiography, Love in Other Words, Roomies, Josh and Hazel, <laughs> like the accolades it's the accolades i'm gonna give them another shot and check out their goodreads page because to me i'm all about giving people their things i like things to be a little bit more personal when it comes to the about me page this might be their like amazon presentation so i'm gonna see if they have something different on goodreads i should try that with cole mccade too because i would be shocked if that is on Goodreads, I mean, on Amazon. <laughs> no, it's the same. Okay, so based on the bio, we're gonna keep the soulmate equation where it's at, unfortunately. Moving on. Okay, we gotta be cutthroat. We gotta be cutthroat. I have, what do I have? This is so embarrassing. We're not organized ever. Oh, okay. I have The Culmination of Everything by Christina C. Jones. I saw Brie from In Love and Words gushing about this book. I think that this is supposed to be like a small town, grumpy hero, forced proximity in the forest type situation. I've heard nothing but good things. So I really want to bump it up. Let's check the bio to see if we can. I'll make sure to get you a screenshot, okay? Here we go, cute picture boo. Okay, Christina C. Jones is a best-selling romance novelist and digital media creator, a timeless storyteller. She is lauded by readers for her ability to seamlessly weave the complexities of a modern life into captivating tales of black romance. As an author, Christina's work has been featured in various media outlets such as Oprah Magazine Online, The Grio, and Shondaland. If you don't know, I'm obsessed with Shonda. <sighs> the way that she's trailblazing. I'm not gonna go on a tangent, but Shonda is my girl, okay? In addition to her full-time writing career, she co-founded Girl Have You Read, a popular digital platform that amplifies Black romance authors and their stories. A former graphic designer, Christina has a passion for making things beautiful and can usually be found crafting and cooking in her spare time. She currently lives in Arkansas with her husband and two kids children we we get it um yeah i'm gonna bump this up she's activating herself in her community this is like accolade heavy personable i love to see it we're moving up the culmination of everything it's happening yes i've been wanting to read that for a while so <laughs> i'm excited the next book that i have is actually pretty fresh on my Kindle. Um, I heard that Jen read it and enjoyed it and I prioritize all those books. It is very scary how aligned my reading tastes are to hers. So that is Lifeblood by Amara Ray. Let's get into, all I know is that it's like captive or captive. So like, let's read a little bit about it. Let's get into it. Let's see so I can tell you something, okay. We'll just read this. Lifeblood is a deliciously dark and steamy paranormal romance, okay? It features enemies to lovers, captor captive, forced proximity, faded mates, a dirty talking and villainous hero, and a heroine with more internal strength than she realizes. Here for it, okay? Um, let's go to her about me page. I'll make sure, oh, this is short and sweet. This is a quick screenshot. Amara is a writer of dark paranormal and fantasy romance, a reader of all things steamy, a worshiper of coffee, and a committed girl and dog mom. I love a caffeinated queen. <sighs> okay, this is a second pass situation, which means it is going head to head with H.D. Carlton. And okay, highly caffeinated queen, who reads steamy romance, okay? And we're pitting that against her talking about surviving in the savagery of the seasons and writing poetry. 
I'm gonna go with Amara for this one. Lifeblood is going into the batting cages. Okay, very excited about that. I'll get to haunting Adeline, I know I will, but we're gonna go with Lifeblood right now. The next on here that I have, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Oh, I have been meaning to get to this for a while. Um, that means that I have this on ebook audiobook and I have the physical copy so I really need to get to this book <laughs> let's see if I can okay now we're just sticking with Amazon I mean screenshot okay Taylor Jenkins Reid is the New York Times best-selling author of Daisy Jones and the Six and the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo as well as One True Colors, Maybe in Another Life, After I Do, and Forever Interrupted. Her newest novel, Malibu Rising, is out now, and she lives in Los Angeles. <sighs> I have to go based on the bio, and like, based on what I have read this far, I'm gonna leave The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo where it is right now. I will get to it. I know that this book is beloved, but I gotta go with the rules of the game and I just want something more personal, you know, just a little bit more. But like, let's give her snaps for her thing. Okay, I'm not even gonna pretend like the frame looks the same. My battery died right before our last book in the game. So let's just get to it. I have Dirty Love by Mika Lane. Let me get it right because I was saying Evelyn instead of Evangeline this entire time. That was cute. So all I know is that I found this Vegas Mafia series a while back. I was really excited about it because I had recently moved to Vegas and this is supposed to be an enemies to lovers. That's what I know about it and that there's four in this series. So I'm very hopeful about this bio because she's a new to me author. I really need like something here and it's the last book in the game. So let's see if we can bump it up. Let me get you a screenshot. Ooh, this is a little long. I'm excited. Okay, dear reader, I'm a contemporary romance author, Mika Lane, and am all about bringing you sexy, sassy stories with imperfect heroines and the badass dudes they bring to their knees. Someone came to play. And I have a special love for romance with multiple guys because why should we have to settle for just one hunky man? My thoughts exactly. Please join my insider group and to be the first to hear about giveaways, sales, pre-orders, arcs, and most importantly, a free sexy short story. We'll get to that later. Okay, I was gonna like highlight it, but it's okay. Writing has been a passion of mine since, well, forever. My first book was The Day I Ate the Milky Way, a true fourth grade masterpiece that's cute. These days, steamy romance, both dark and funny, gives purpose to my days and nights as I create worlds and characters who defy the imagination. I live in magical Northern California with my own handsome alpha dude, sometimes known as Mr. Mika Lane and an evil cat named Bill. <laughs> These two males also defy my imagination from time to time. I've all, I'll always promise you a hot, sexy romp with kick-ass but imperfect heroines and some version of a modern day happily ever after. I love to hear from readers when I'm not dreaming up naughty tales to share. Okay, join my insider group so we can get to know each other. Yes, Mika, we're now friends. I feel like I know more about what I'm gonna get from her since I've never read her before. I feel like, oh, this is why I love this game. When I look at this cover, I'm gonna feel like I know something about the author. And I'm excited to pick it up. Like, I'm here for it. Mm. I really hope that I like them because they're set in Vegas. I'm hoping that if she like drops a setting that I can actually go to, that would be a lot of fun. I'll vlog it if that happens. But yeah, like, <laughs> thank you for joining me during my little uh, author bio roulette game here. I hope this helps you use another way to maybe prioritize your never ending TBR. Um, I hope you can consider subscribing and sticking around and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.